Josh, Josh, what are you, what are you doing? Where have you been, man? I've been checking my feed for days. I've been scrolling. Where is he? Where's the VHS boy? Come on, he's he's got to be here. The VHS boy has to be here. He's the only account whose posts bring me life and joy in in the midst of this stay-at-home crisis. The, I'm going, I'm, I'm kind of going, okay, I can handle the stress of work. I can handle the, uh, that I hate my family. I can hate, I, I, I can handle the fact that, that my coworkers are terrible. I can, I can handle the fact that, that a virus is killing everyone and, and the president of our country is killing more people by his negligence and by calling um, Asian people Chinese when he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. But, but I need the VHS boy's account. I need his post. Because they're the nectar from heaven. That's that's like this golden light that that sort of restores my chakras and makes me feel that I can continue living again because I have the VHS boys posts. And well, so anyway, so anyway, uh, uh, sorry that I've been gone, you know, for a couple of days, and I'm back, and 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 um, I have one thing to say to you. And so you all know, so, so everyone, so everyone's kind of going, oh my gosh, I know what he's talking about. I know what he's about to talk about. He's going to talk about, um, he's going to talk, he, I know that song. That song is from, um, Wallace and Gromit. Uh, hold on, let me, you know, I planned this really well and so I'm going to get it out now. So, oh my God. <clears throat> so it, that song is from Wallace and Gromit, uh, Grand Day Out. Where they go, where where Wallace is like, you know, cheese, grommet, we we're out of it, dang it, and there's no and there's no stores because because of the dang virus, because no one's making cheese anymore, and and you know the whole world's vegan now, and it's like and Wallace is just like I just want some freaking cheese. I'm kind of a boomer, you know, I just want some doggone cheese and crackers with my uh, tea. Gromit and Gromit is, you know, kind of doing his eyebrows. And anyway, that's not what we're talking about. That was just a big, kind of a nice big joke that I pulled on everyone. Because we're at, what, what we're actually talking about is... Anyway, I don't know if you guys have heard of this movie. It's Turbinator. And Turbinator was kind of a big... Oh, I don't know, kind of a little movie from... Um, when was it from? 139. No, that's the runtime. You know, come on, get real. It was from 1991. Jesus Christ. Is that possible? They made this movie in 91? Oh my God. The effects are so good in this. Do you, do you understand when the T, whatever it is, I don't care, 1000, uh, melts into the checkered floor into the black and white checkered floor do you understand how good that looks even if you if you own the blu-ray or if you watch it on um netflix or whatever um it looks so good to this day and he sticks a needle in a cop's eye in a in, in sort of a security guard's eye and that guy was just trying to get some coffee and sort of kind of figure out what sort of poker hand he had on his coffee and he gets a needle in his eye now how would you like that you know would you rather be working your job or, or I mean, uh, you know, would you rather be working, <laughs> would you rather be working your job from home or do you want to go to your job and get a, a dog on a T1000 needle in your eye, you know? And so just sort of, sort of ask yourself that before you start complaining about, you know, Coroba virus or, or whatever it is. So anyway, T2, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And that is when I always thought Judgment Day, kind of a kind of a, kind of a ominous title, right? You know, as someone who grew up in a sort of uh, you know, in like a conservative Christian household, Judgment Day. That was when all the bad people burned in hell. So then you think as a little kid, you hear this. As a little boy child, you hear the title of this movie and you're kind of going, Oh my gosh. Do they film hell in this movie? And then you watch it years later, as a teenager or something, and you're like, okay, no, there's no hell in this movie, but um, the lady Sarah Connor and, and whoever that gal is who plays her, Linda Hamilton, of course, you know, 
I, I already knew it. I just had to kind of, you know, I was just making sure that they printed it, that, that they printed her name right on the back of the box. Linda Hamilton, like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I know her name better than I know my own mother's. And, and sort of, you know, Linda Hamilton, <clears throat> she's like banging on a, a chain link fence and she's like, hey, you guys are going to burn because of Judgment Day. And Judgment Day isn't actually about Satan and hell. It's not about, um, you know, angels and demons. It's about big skeletal robots. Robots who are going to crush skulls under their tank teeth and stuff. And she's like, I can see it in a vision. I can see it in my dreams and stuff. And she can do push-up, uh, uh, pull-ups, I guess, you know, sort of kind of that thing. And so, you know, my old pal... My old pal, Schwarzy, Schwarzy nigger, um, he comes in to sort of save the doggone day. And he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna waltz through time. Oh, wait, um, I know I was a bad guy in the first Turbinator, but now I'm a good guy, and I'm gonna sort of waltz through time. I'm gonna come in a little orb and, and show up naked. And yeah, I'm gonna go to a biker bar. So everybody calm down. I'm going to steal that guy's clothes. I'm going to scan him because I'm a super advanced AI. I'm going to scan him for his doggone clothes. And I'm going to uh, see what, what size he is. And I'm, and I'm going to take his clothes and his boots and his, and his wheels, you know. And the bar owner has a little bit of a problem with that. You can't take the boy's wheels, son. I can't let you. And then Arnold is like, and we're not going to do the Arnold accent because this is a very politically correct show where we don't do the Arnie accent. And Arnie is a personal friend, as you guys know. And he has asked me to stop doing his accent. He's like, Joshua, too good at doing my accent. You have to stop it. People think you, you are, I am you. <laughs> so anyway, what happens then is that John Connor, kind of a little shithead, isn't he? You know. Kind of the childhood that we all wanted. You know, just stealing money from an ATM because you have a little red-haired friend with a mullet. And uh, he, who knows some absurd uh, hacking code that he can do with a, with a Texas Instruments, you know, a calculator to, st to steal cash from an ATM so that you can go blow it at the, like, at the at Sega City Arcade. Anyway, and you have a dirt bike? Oh my gosh. You know, 1991, that's living large, my friend. And so, you know, John Connor, but but eventually at some point in his future, I guess he he, he turns, you know, he sort of uh, straightens up and flies right, I guess. And he becomes Christian Bale and becomes super, super lame, I suppose. But let's just pretend that didn't happen, you know, because there's a bunch of Turbinators, but everybody knows that basically one and two are kind of where it's at. And the rest of them are just like a kind of sort of flim flam, kind of like the doors on a saloon. And you can kind of let them go. And you just need the first and second Turbinator. So what else happens in this? Josh, what else happens? You know, hey, a guy turns into silver. You think he dies. Do you think he's dead now? No, sorry. Sorry, my friend, he's not dead. Do you think he's dead again? No, sorry, he's not dead. Did he get big old shooty bullets shot in him that blow, uh, you know, holes in him? No, about a million times? No, he's not dead. Did he get, did he get all freezied up? Did he get melted and then all freezied up and then, and then he still think he's dead because he's turned into a, um, like an icy guy? No, he's not dead still. And he has to go in the dickety dang lava before he's dead. It's like, you know, what do I gotta do to kill this guy? That's how I would be feeling if I was playing kind of the, um, <clears throat> if, if Turbinator 2 was like a, a video game, I'd be like, ugh, freaking, uh, you know, when, when does this guy die? I only have one life left or something. And when is he, uh, I freaking froze him. I freaking shot some shooty bullets into him. When is he dead? And so... And that's why everyone knows that, that Turbinator 2 is the best Turbinator and co-written, produced, and directed by James Cameron of The Turbinator 1, Aliens, and The Abyss. And, you know, 
James Cameron, after he did the Terminator 1 and 2 or something, um, he was like, okay, guys, I'm going to take all this money that I made and I'm going to go, uh, dive down into the ocean and try to find, you know, the, the sort of secret dead lady skeleton from the Titanic. And I'm going to spend a bunch of money on some blue people. Do you remember the blue people movie that came out? Whoa, oh my gosh, you know, their ponytail plugs into like a dragon or something. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make 19 sequels. And we're all just kind of like, James, um, James, wow, you know, Marvel has made 75 movies about Iron Man, and, and you're still like, yeah, I know, but the Blue People movie 2 is still, it's coming, and, and 2, 3, and 4, and we're, we're all just like, James, James, I, I don't care, I don't care about the Blue People anymore, I didn't care that much about them when they first came out. You know, I kind of saw it, and there and there was a blue baby, I guess, and there was a blue tall lady, and it was like, why didn't I see any blue boobs, you know? And and, and after that, after I was like, okay, two and a half hours, and there's no blue boobs, I, I guess I'm sort of out of this. So that's sort of how, you know, and that's sort of a good review of Avatar. And so anyway, Avatar is what we were talking about here on the program. And everyone have a nice, um, whatever this is you know, time that you're watching it.